I wanted to uh, make this video uh, of my new aquaponic system. I know a lot of people have uh, struggled with a bell siphon as I have, and so I came up with a new siphon. I don't know if anybody's doing this or not. So if they're not, I guess I'm naming it the ABS, which just means all of the uh, scientific components to the siphon are above the bed. So it's an ABS siphon above bed siphon. Unless someone else is doing the exact same thing, I guess that's what I'll call it. Uh, the water is going in through a one and a quarter inch pipe, reduced down to a three quarter inch pipe, and then I have a few bends in the pipe. And the process is pretty thin. All of this fits in a six inch drain pipe, which comes uh, pre, it's already got holes in it, so it's less work. And that's, I'm all for that. So the water's coming in with a one and a quarter inch pipe and then it drops down into a smaller pipe, a three quarter inch pipe, and then by putting a few bends in it above the bed, instead of below the bed, the water backs up and gets all the air out of the system and I'm not scientifically minded so much, but uh, it purges all the air out and then the siphon begins and it's to, what I'm doing is pouring straight down into the drain pipe there's no turns on the underside of the uh, grow bed on any of my grow beds and this one is getting close and then I have my drain pipe down below water if you can see it and it's once it starts the softening it's actually adding oxygen to my to my water tank for free, adding oxygen back into the water for free. You can see it better at night, but I'm just waiting on it now to show that it actually works. <laughs> it's just about ready to soften. I do have a, which I'm not quite, I'm still in the process of putting this together as you can see. Got a 330 gallon food grade tote and uh, two grow beds, 96 inches by 46 inches each, and what I decided to do because the gravel is so heavy is to put a floating raft in the middle of each one of them, and I've just got it supported with concrete blocks. I've got in a, uh, in two 12s and three quarter inch plywood, and I've got 20 millimeter deer scam, and I've got this board <coughs> running across the middle where there are no concrete blocks to give a little bit of extra support because it is a lot of weight. But the uh, floating rafts in the middle are reducing the weight in the middle quite considerably. And it is starting to siphon. I just wanted to demonstrate that this does work. And it works quite well. I'm not a big fan of the bell siphon. I have a system in the house and I continually have to adjust some of my bell siphons and I took some of this extra polystyrene to wedge in besides the bell siphon on one of them where it wouldn't move. I don't know if you can see this because of the sun, but it is draining pretty quickly and as you can see I hope you can see I can't see much of anything through here we do have a lot of air bubbles coming up we're providing some aeration for free as we drain our drain beds or grow beds. And it's half drained already. I don't have, I haven't timed it uh, yet, but it seems to be draining uh, about as quick as uh, I could hope for. 
certainly as quick as any of my drain beds and with my bell siphons in the the other part of the house in the house my sunroom it's just about there still lots of free bubbles and If, I don't know if you know, I haven't looked and I looked at uh, YouTube videos for quite a few years trying to figure out how to put one of these systems together this is my second one and I just didn't like the bell siphons and thought there had to be a better way and maybe this is not a better way but it, at least I've got all four of them working and they it works for me so maybe it might help someone else I'm just going from one and a quarter inch pipe is taking in the water 90 degree elbow one and a quarter and I just <clears throat> there's there's basically I found two different types of these one inch elbows some of them are a little thicker than the others and you can get them to fit directly into one of these three one and a quarter inch elbows this one inch elbow into a one and a quarter inch elbow and I've just got one of these little doohickeys slide up in here and then I've got three quarter inch pipe uh, the rest of the way, just a couple of bends, and it uh, is working pretty good. So I hope uh, hope this helps somebody who's struggling with uh, their bell siphons.